This video covers the use of overrides in Loop, what they are, how they work, how they don't work, and some useful tips you may not have considered yet. Settings are important in Loop. Loop uses your settings to calculate your predicted blood sugar curve, and therefore all of your automated insulin dosing decisions are affected by your settings. That's why we have pages to help you understand how to test your basils, insulin sensitivities, and carb ratios. But they sure don't last forever. Eventually you'll have some outside influence that will make your old settings less effective. Loop will have a harder time keeping you at your target range when the underlying settings are changing. Figuring out how to adjust and whether to adjust at these times is a bit of a learning process, so let's dig into that a little bit more. We're all too familiar with just how many things can affect your blood sugar. Most of the time, it feels like there's way more than just 42 listed here. Some of the factors we are accustomed to dealing with, and with good settings, Loop does a good job at handling these things, like eating food and bolusing for it. We've learned that not all carbs are created equal, timing of a meal bolus can make a difference, and even a protein meal may require some bolus insulin. With good settings, loop in your diabetes skills should be able to handle these factors pretty well. But then there's the other factors. The factors that actually represent situations where your underlying insulin needs are changing. In other words, your settings need an adjustment to help loop keep you near your target. It may be for a short period of time, like an intense cardio workout, or more long-term, like your monthly hormone cycles that can cause days of insulin resistance or sensitivity. Or if you've ever been on steroids, you know that you may need to double or even triple your usual insulin. The original loop design had one feature called a workout override to help during these times where your activity might require a change. It allowed you to set a different blood sugar target for a defined period of time. But really this feature was limited in its ability to effectively deal with exercise because it was not also accounting for the fact that your underlying insulin needs were changing too. To address the whole issue, you would need to edit your basils, carb ratios, and insulin sensitivities during these times of change. It was a tedious process to change out all of your settings for these discrete events, especially frustrating for women managing monthly hormone changes multiple times each month. Thanks to the ambitious work of Michael Pangburn, override presets are now available in Loop. You can use override presets to save overall insulin needs adjustments for quick use later. Override presets are set up by tapping on the last row of configurations in your Loop app settings. Simply add a preset and include the name of your preset, overall insulin needs adjustment, target blood sugar range, and duration the preset will be active. The overall insulin needs adjustment is selected as a percentage, where 100% is equal to your existing scheduled insulin needs. So any percent that you select below 100%, such as the 50% running preset on the left, that's going to result in loop calculating lower overall insulin needs. Any percentage you select above 100%, such as the 120% exam stress preset on the right, that will result in loop calculating an increased overall insulin needs for you. And notice that the percentage adjustment applies to more than just basils. Notice the text below the overall insulin need adjustment describes the 20% increase in basal, bolus, and correction insulin dose amounts for the exam stress override. You can make as many presets as you'd like. Exercise, hormones, stress, illness, medications, the list is completely up to you. When you're ready for an override, simply tap the workout icon on the loop toolbar. The heartbeat icon in blue, that's the workout icon. Select the preset that you'd like to enact immediately by tapping on it, or if you long press on the preset, it will open up an additional screen where you can select a custom start time. For example, if you have an early morning workout first thing and you want an override to start a couple hours before you're even due to wake up, you can schedule the override preset when you go to bed the night before. When your override is enacted, you'll see a banner notification across the top of your loop app and a dark blue target range on your blood sugar chart. The workout icon will also be highlighted in darker blue. 
You'll also be able to see an override is active in Night Scout. A gray bar with the name of the override preset will be displayed at the base of the blood sugar chart, and the bar will be corresponding to the duration that the override is due to be active. There's also an override pill that show you your blood glucose targets, the overall insulin needs percentage adjustment, and the time that the override is scheduled to end. If the override is set for an indefinite duration, then there will be an infinity symbol in the override pill. You can end an override by tapping on the workout icon in the loops toolbar, or the override will automatically end itself when its scheduled duration is complete. As important as it is to point out what overrides do, we also need to cover what overrides do not do. Overrides do not continue to work when you're not actively looping. It sounds obvious, but it's worth pointing out here. When you enable an override, it is not changing the saved settings in your pod or pump. Overrides are only a temporary math adjustment. So if you leave your looping gear, your pump or pod will revert to using your scheduled basils saved in your loop settings. For example, if you're a pod looper and you set an override for 40% for two hours while you go for an ocean swim, and you leave your phone and your Riley link in your bag back on the beach, your override will end within 30 minutes of you leaving your gear behind. You'll be back at full basils as saved in your loop settings within 30 minutes. Similarly, if you are a soccer player and you leave your gear bag far enough away that the Riley link cannot communicate with your pod, then your scheduled basils will resume within 30 minutes if loop isn't able to communicate with the pod. So if you leave your looping gear behind, please remember to edit your scheduled basils if you intend on leaving them for long enough extended periods of time. Thank you and enjoy your overrides.